Now I'm here with Vedette Vandezan, who is the laboratory manager here at Vitro Plus. And Vedette, we're inside this very large growth chamber where I can see the fluorescent lamps. Can you tell me about your old uh, growing method here with these fluorescent lamps? With this method, we can control uh, temperature, light intensity, light spectrum, carbon dioxide, uh, sugar hormones, salts, water, relative humidity, and infections. Now we're here with the LEDs, the light emitting diodes, or as the Dutch call, the LEDs. And I think this is an area of research and an area of interest where uh, greenhouse growers, especially in America, but also in the Netherlands and other parts of the country, are interested in this new technology. Uh, it's a very new technology, and it's just now becoming uh, economical for people to start investing in. In fact, at Michigan State, we're doing a lot of research focused on light emitting diodes and what is appropriate for plant growth. Uh, to our eye, it looks very pink, it looks very purple. And actually, you had mentioned how the plants actually look, they don't look green, do they? So uh, my question is, how did you decide to invest in light emitting diodes and how did you test to determine what is a good ratio of red and blue light? Um, we needed a higher intensity to harden our fur, so that's why we started to use LED lights. Together with Philips, we um, tried five light combinations. Uh, we tested five different light, inten uh, light combinations, and after one year of testing, we chose the best light combination. And uh, the plant who looked almost the same, like the plant from the greenhouse, so that the, uh, the light combination we used for that plant, we chose to. Um, Okay, so what I see here is uh, there are about two blue LEDs for every five red LEDs. There's no white light, there's no green light, there's no UV, so we're only seeing a little part of the spectrum, and yet you're able to get good growth results because of that. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Uh, what about the efficiency? How does the efficiency of the LEDs compare to the fluorescent lights? Well, the LED lamps are uh, 20 watts and the TL lights uh, 58 watts. Okay, so that's about three times more efficient. Yes. And then how many hours per day do you use the LEDs? The uh, LED lights are operating for 12 hours and the TL lights for 16 hours per day. Wow, so you're using uh, obviously one-fourth less energy and you multiply that by three times more efficiency, yes. you're getting nearly a four times more efficient lighting system uh, with the LEDs compared to the fluorescents. Yes. 